Uh, not his favorite activity on, never mind on a Monday, on any day that ends in a Y. Uh, his contractually obligated appearance on this radio show. But Speaking um, of not wanting to answer questions. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I, I, I really believe that the crafts hear this, and it has reached a level I have never heard it in this market where fans are no longer getting mad at me or you or Courtney or Wiggy about questions. They're mad at the answers. And that I don't know when that sort of that dam broke, but we've reached a level where there is a desire for accountability from the head of the Patriots right now. And what happened Monday night after all that goodwill that was developed with the close game overtime run by Zappy, back to back blowout wins, you enter that game and they just that loss is on the head coach. They weren't ready. They they looked past the Bears. They thought they could win it using that two quarterback scheme. The players were miffed, and they got their asses kicked by one of the worst teams in the NFL. Yeah, I, upon reflection, I just don't know what he was thinking. I, you know, if it involves – the, I mean, we've eliminated I, – I, I would assume we've eliminated the lingering injury being an issue and the weather and whether or not he wanted to continue to – Risk Mac Jones getting here. I mean, Mac Mac Jones got three series. I mean, I, in no way, shape, or form am I guessing that there was a game plan that involved Mac Jones going out there for the first quarter, essentially, of that football game. I, like it's I, a preseason game. I, yeah. I, you, I, you can't eliminate the injury part, though, because he said after the game that that played into it. Who so, did? Bill. Yeah, I don't believe that, though. Uh, but that's what he said. So uh, uh, that's all I'm saying. And then when Mac was asked about how far along he was, he wouldn't give a percentage. So – it, we can we can think all we want that he's a hundred percent because he looked mobile out he there. He looked good. So I don't know what happened, and I think that if you're going to start somebody, that's who you have to go with at least for a half. If if Mac sucked the entire first half, then throw Bailey in. That's why I I, I constantly go back to the fact that Bill just thought Mac was in a downward spiral. No, but I think he listen. I think we know what Bill's doing. I, I, we've I've been saying this since day one. He only – he doesn't feel the same way that everybody else feels for Mac Jones' last season. And then heading into this season and training camp in the preseason, I, I don't think he feels the same way. Like, I don't think he feels like everybody's like, whoa, Mac's the guy, Mac's the guy, Mac's the guy. Okay, Mac's on why, the rise. I think he looks at it and goes, Mac is playing – he played well last year. Let's see what he does. He's struggling a little bit his second year. Zappy got in there. Zappy played well. You know what? I have no problem with pulling a guy. Okay, that- if Bill feels that way, if he doesn't feel the same way everybody else does yep. about Mac Jones in his rookie season, mm-hmm. why did he come out uh, prior to OTAs or whatever and gush about Mac Jones? He and said about- Mac looked good from. No, he said, Wiggy, he said we can play the full comment at some point if you want. Mm-hmm. He talked about how hard Mac had worked in the offseason, right. how. Uh, how he had grown physically, right. about how it, um, mentally he was uh, all there. I, I mean, I... I don't think he's glowed I, about yeah. anybody since Cam Newton. I, I, okay, then what What do I have to do? Play the no, audio? No, I'm Play just the saying, I mean, I, he I, said I, he I, works I, really hard. He studies he, a lot. I, yeah, he, he said, said nice things about he, him, but... He said he looked better this year than he did last year. Okay. Then and going in OTAs. Then coming, then coming out of training camp... Not coming was, out of training camp. This was during the OTA okay, when he said that. Okay, then coming up, my next question, which I'm going to ask, is coming out of training camp, why was Bailey Zappi not the number two if Bill thinks so much of Bailey, thinks so highly of Bailey Zappi? Mm-hmm. Because Bailey Zappi didn't do anything to earn the number two spot, right? You, you really, he probably got n- no reps, very minimal reps in the preseason. Doesn't really do anything. In the- so a guy that Bill Belichick has identified as potentially being his starter mm-hmm. over his first round draft pick got no reps from that same Bill Belichick in training camp? No, he got reps, but he... That it, sounds bizarre to no, me. No, he got reps, but they weren't splitting reps. Zappi really made... He really was able to kind of take advantage of his opportunity in those two games that he... Or two and a half games he played in. That's when he took advantage of his opportunity. And that's what made Bill go, well, you know what? I'm not really, like, sold on Mac like everybody else, but I don't have a problem with playing the Zappy kid. What do you have, Shine? 
I actually have the audio of Belichick from July talking about the dramatic improvements of one Mac. Jones. Roll it. Roll it. Yeah, I think Mac's done a great job. Uh, he's he's worked extremely hard. Uh, he's got a tremendous work ethic and uh, in all areas. Um, you know, I think there's a dramatic improvement. You know, his physical uh, work and conditioning, working on his mechanics, working on his footwork, working on his understanding of our offense, of opponent defenses, of situations, um, all those things. Um, we've talked about all those things in varying degrees, some more emphasis than others, and the emphasis on maybe some other things will come later on. Can't do it all at once, but yeah, he's worked hard. He's made tremendous strides, and you know, he did a great job last year, but he's starting from a much, much higher point this year than, than where he started last year. So. Yeah. I, I rest my case. Yeah, yeah no, but he that says was, that about I, every player. I, re- I rest no, my case. Yeah, the, drama- the dramatic improvement. But then, so... Is so that for, not gushing? That, that's gushing. But then he goes out and, and, and doesn't show that to the rest of the okay, world. that's not what I'm talking about. I know, about. but I'm saying, so I So think- what are you talking about? So he, he gives him praise like he would any player. When we asked about Kyle Duggar, he gives praise to guys is, to guys, and so what are, you, what are you really saying? But if the guy doesn't, like Courtney said, if the guy doesn't perform in all of training camp and throughout the preseason, and then another guy comes in and performs it's better. It's not about the performance. It's about Max disagreement with the change in offensive approach mm-hmm. and the offensive coordinator not liking the talk back from the second-year QB. That's what this is about. So you think performance has nothing to do with Not it? nothing, but Greg's alluding to the change in sort of philosophy here. Mm-hmm. And Bill was effusive in his praise. We all heard that that day and said dramatic improvement. Mm-hmm. He never said that about Tom. He never said right. that about Rodney, whatever. He said that about Mac because Mac had up to that point given him no reason to believe he was going to question the status quo. Right. So then they if you believe that a practice yet. If right. you believe that, then when did the change happen? When did they start, you know, going against Mac? All the training, training camp. All of a preseason. They started to see like the Because they hung him out to dry. They 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 made the the coordinator change. They had to because Josh McDaniels left. Curtis pointed out in his lead this morning that Bill didn't go after Billy O'Brien. Mm-hmm. They brought in Patricia and Judge, a couple guys who've never done that on that side of the ball before, and then they installed a new offense. And then they expect that a uh, that a second year sophomore quarterback who had a really good rookie season is going to struggle a little bit. And, when- Wiggy, you yourself have been at the front of this talking mm-hmm. about how they have done nothing to make Mac's job easier. Right. From not adding offensive weapons, from trading away one of their guards, from not doing things, play calling, whatever, not giving him a coordinator, bringing in a defensive guy and a special teams boob as his coordinators. I mean... We have been talking around this all year, and now it's coming to fruition. But I also believe, and I agree with you on that, but I also believe that maybe if he would have bought in the same way Bailey Zappi... Why would you buy into Matt Patricia? Why? Because he is your coach. Oh, okay. Right? And you're well, a sec- that's your paycheck. That's, you're a, that's you didn't buy job. into Brad Childress, did but, you? But you're a second-year player. So you're, you're, you believe that this unpolished gem in the form of Bailey Zappi was sitting there... All through training camp Mm -hmm. and unidentified by Bill Belichick or anybody else as being a better option at quarterback than Brian Hoyer? I didn't say he was unidentified. I just said that he hadn't. I don't think. Then why did 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 he not come out of training camp ahead of Brian Hoyer? I think Be- he shocked everyone. Well, because he shocked nobody identified that. In training no, camp. no, Greg, they identified <laughs> it, but Bill did not. Wa- I think you guys like that story. No, no, I, don't- I think there's a lot of people that really like that story. It's like Rudy. believe in something. It's Ru- it's like no. it was like Rudy around this place for the last three weeks. <laughs> no, I don't think Bill was Rudy's only flaw was where he went to college. I don't yeah. think Bill. I was- think that's what I it don't is. think people Bill- like the story. If you just listen to what people say who are down there every day, I don't think Bill was ready to elevate him like that. I'll keep beating this drum. Andy Hart said it, and he was down there every single day at training camp. None of us were, so we don't know. Mm-hmm. He said every every time that Billy looked better in running the offense. Because Believe it's in a great, Zappy. Uh, Thank you. Right, because it's a great story. we got to take a break. Oh, so oh, now you that, so you don't do you believe understand Andy. The, the clock? Do you understand it? No, I don't. I'm okay, asking well, the question. When the light goes off, you got to stop talking for a second. All right. Just a second. <laughs>
I have. Uh... All right, just a minute. <clears throat> well, the light hadn't gone on yet. Uh, it has. It's gone off five now times. Now I'm you like just Matt not Jones. watching it. All right, we'll be right back with more Wiggy. <laughs> 